Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Shalom. So what the soldier was just bringing out is he was showing you your nationality according to the Bible. That's the right. fact that blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians are in fact the biblical Jews, That's the right. biblical Israelites, That's according right. to the Bible. Right. Does everyone understand it, brother? You understand that? You understand what that means? So what is it that is required of us? You got a question? Come on up. My brother, one of y'all, he in joint right now, but he's actually recording. Okay. Okay, definitely. So then now, since we know who we are, what is required of us? Let me get Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. Bring it and out. now, Israel. Hey, come back, brother. Let me show you this law before you go. Real important. You got a bag in your hand. I want to show you why, what that is. Hold on. And now, Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul. So what does it mean to fear God? What does it mean for you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians to fear God? Teach. That means you have to keep his commandments. We are dying because we are breaking the laws of God. That's for right. example, today is what? The holy Sabbath Bring day. But yet you see the parking lot full of cars. Bring it out. Yet we are breaking the Sabbath day. Let me show you first what the Sabbath day was originated from. Let me get the book of Genesis, chapter 2, start at verse 1. Let's see what the Sabbath day actually is. The book of Genesis, chapter 2 and verse 1. Bring it up. the heaven and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And on the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had made. And he rested on the seventh day from all his work, which he had made. And, and God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because that in it he had rested from all his work which God created in me. Let me get, let me get the book of Nehemiah 1031. So what that is saying is the seventh day, which is the Sabbath, which is Saturday from Friday sundown to Saturday sundown is separate from all the other days of the week. It is the day the Most High God rested from creating all of existence. Right. And us being his children, we are gonna rest from our work as well. Right. So with that being said, I know this brother, you got a brisk iced tea in your hand. You bought that today, right? Other people got different bags in their hand of things that they bought today. Come closer so I can show you something according to the Bible. Did you know according to the Bible, you are in violation of God's laws? I'm gonna show you where, I'm gonna show you. The book of Nehemiah chapter 10 and verse 31. Bring it out. And if the people of the land bring where? Or any victuals. So on. Huh, if the people of the land, like all these, you see like the BP, the, the Jewel Osco, all these different people around setting up businesses in our community. They're bringing wear and victuals, like goods and services, right? What, 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 what are we to do about those things they're selling on this particular day? On the Sabbath day. Which is today. To sell that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath or on the holy day. So stop. Look, just like how our father rested on the Sabbath day from all his work, the scripture also commands us that we are not to buy, 
sell or work on the Sabbath yes. day either. Yes, anything, brother. You should have bought that yesterday before the Sabbath started, as commanded according to the Bible. But this is all I really drink. It's like, no, it's fine. Brisk iced tea is a good drink. Listen, but you, you, you're missing the point. Drink you're missing the point. Tea. You're missing the point. You're missing the point. Brisk tea is delicious. That's not the point. Brisk tea is very good. What we're saying is you purchased that today. You were supposed to purchase all the things you needed to take. Uh, let me, let me you were supposed to purchase all the things you needed to buy before the Sabbath day started. So like you see, if these people are grocery shopping today, they're supposed to buy their food yesterday. You bought your drink today, you're supposed to buy your drink yesterday. Let me get Exodus 16, 23. In the book of Exodus chapter 16, verse 23. Bring it up. And he said unto them, This is that which the Lord had said. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath. So stop. If tomorrow will be the Sabbath, that would mean it would what he's talking about is Friday before sundown. I, I need you to make sure you follow me. Today is Saturday, right? So what he's talking about is as if it was taking place yesterday before sundown. So like fr Friday morning, you understand? So it's certain things you were do to do to prepare for the Sabbath day today. I'm going to show you what those things are. So keep in mind, he's telling you this is what you're supposed to do Friday morning before Friday night happens, right? Unto the Lord, bake that which he will bake today and see that he will see and that which remaineth over lay up for you to be kept until the morning so what he's saying is you buy and cook all the stuff you need to cook the day before you need to bake what you need to bake before seize what you need to seize before mean to boil and do all the things you're cooking you're buying you're shopping all that stuff the day before because when sabbath day comes you are not to cook you are not to buy you are not to sell so that, if you would have bought that yesterday and you're drinking today, you're fine, you're straight. But what I'm trying to show you according to the laws of God is we have to keep his laws. Teacher. And that according to the laws, we are not supposed to buy or sell on the Sabbath. Did you understand that? So according to the Bible, uh, you bought that today. Yeah. That's breaking what? The law. And what law did you break? God. And which one of God's laws did you break? The Sabbath day, right? All right, cool. So understand you broke the Sabbath day. So let me show you something else. What else are you supposed to do on the Sabbath day? Do you know? Because the reason I'm showing you this. Um, by like certain stuff like if that you want to cook before the Sabbath day, that you're supposed to cook. Like yeah. tomorrow. No, yesterday. Today. Yeah, you're supposed to cook it and buy it yesterday so you can eat it today. Why? Because it's your break. It's your day of rest. Because the Lord rested, you're his children, you rest today as well. You right. understand? So let me show you something else you're supposed to do on the Sabbath day. Let me get uh, Exodus 34 and 21. Because now, you, you, you work? No. Alright, so the thing is, everybody who works, they, you know, we need a break, we, we get tired sometimes. Did you know, according to the Bible, just like how God rested from creating all the sun, moon, and stars, and he rested on the seventh day, you're supposed to rest on the seventh day as well. Let me show you something. The book of Exodus, chapter 34 and verse 21. Bring it out. Six days shalt thou work, but on the seventh day thou shalt rest. In airing time and in harvest thou shalt rest. So what it's saying is how you again properly prepare for the uh, Sabbath day is today needs to be your off day. Do not work by or sell on the Sabbath day. You understand? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.